uh, here is uh, that uh, we are struggling with uh, to do from our side because I think to write a, a Indo-American collaboration project is uh, not easy, more tougher than the, your own thesis, what you have done. And I think you need so much of revision. And we are working with Sudha Engar uh, from last four years. And I think finally we got, we submitted in uh, last year, in November. And I think, uh, so one is, as John says, we have to be prepared now. Because even, why wait till the last week? Because it's not easy. There are so many formalities, registrations to be done. You have to get acknowledgement in the all, everything online. And I think it's a, uh, it's a, I won't, the only thing I found out is it's a fair uh, review. And I think uh, even in America, they, I think they have a problem depending on what type of project you write. If you write a genetics project, it goes to the cancer genetics and general genetics. And that's where the competition is too high. But if you write it something specific, ophthalmology, like how, you know, it's again a genetic project Ronnie has got. And I think he's got an excellent partnership. So I am uh, discussing with Sandeep for the last two years. We are uh, yet uh -huh. to begin. Why not we have DRCR India? And I think even DRCR.net in the US started as small. And it's totally an NEI NIH project. And I think a lot of uh, important people are involved in uh, writing the project. And then they have got uh, the going up to T and uh, uh, the uh, various uh, protocols have been come out. I think we have to start somewhere in India where I am also spoke to Neil Bressler, who was in the helm earlier, and everybody is ready to help. But I think from our side, we have to become strong. That is from Indian side, and I think uh, we, DRCR has to start something in India, in whatever name you call it. And uh, here, I think at least uh, we are proving now we are not working for any individual name. We wanted to collectively work as India, and uh, I think India has the maximum number of diabetics. I see. The other place is China, but I don't know whether they are organized in screening, diagnosing and treatment. I was there in the APS, AVRS in Shanghai, and they claim Shanghai has totally AI for DR screening. But I don't know. They, I, I don't see publications. And I think uh, the AI is uh, working in India. And I'm happy we are working on offline AI, both online AI. But I think long way to go. And I think India has the great potential which other countries don't have is the numbers and then we have the we know experts here to collect data i think more important is robust data and i think everybody is talking about big data and if you have a big data you're going to be a multi-billionaire not even a millionaire so i think that means i mean india should become multi-billionaire and then i think uh, with the data and i think uh, using ai we have uh, lots to do for once for diabetic retinopathy then glaucoma and all also the neurological uh, diseases where uh, I'm working with the thanks to Dr. John Prakash for introducing to the Chinese uh, IA Genetic Consortium. I went there twice and Professor um, from Chongqing, I forget the right now the name, his friend, our friend, he's actually written a pro ask for a project for the Indochina collaboration on predicting Alzheimer's and uh, uh, the, uh, dementia in uh, uh, using the uh, AI in uh, optic nerve. So we are in the process, and I think it's uh, again a new challenge. And I think, uh, is he working with you? I don't remember. He said he's working with somebody in India. I forgot his name right now. Anyway, I have it. So I think we also have Paul Bird here. We have Paul. Yes. So we are working with Sarah. We don't have a co any collaboration, but uh, we are working with Sarah as the cent Center for Eye Research Australia in Melbourne and uh, her, his colleague or his student who is a PhD, Shrujna, has uh, made a Kertokonas uh, uh, International Consortium and I think uh, myself and Aditya Jodh is a part of it. I'm not a cornea surgeon. The idea is to bring people together and every time I learn this from John saying that uh, why we are all individually working, why are you doing your own individual cooking, why not we have one place to cook so that India is a represented and not uh, Maharashtra, Bombay, Delhi, like that. So anyhow, we have to solve that issue. And it's our own homework. And I'm happy John is also from our own home. And he's a great uh, guiding spirit. And I think, uh, uh, Paul, we have uh, one uh, good news for you. The Australian uh, embassy in India has, uh, yesterday we had a meeting with the president of uh, RANSCO. That's uh, Dr. Professor Heather Mack 
who is uh, who is the president of a Ra Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Ophthalmology. The Ramsco is going to sponsor eminent ophthalmologists from India to go and give teaching lectures in Australia. So I think it's a good move, and I am happy. I, I stimulated Nitin Verma to talk to the Indian Embassy, and I am happy. We are uh, also working with the Dr. Bhavanas in Delhi. She should work with the U.S. Consul General and the US, U.S. Consulate. It's not only asking money, and I think the idea is the exchange program, and there are lots to learn and lots to teach. And I'm happy, uh, like uh, yesterday, our guest speaker from Singapore said, I come to uh, India often because it's not only to teach, I learn. So I think uh, India also has a lot of things to offer. The only thing is we have to, go, it's like playing tennis in the, uh, your hometown and, or in the cricket in there and going playing in, in another uh, country that makes a difference, time difference, the climate. So here, when we are talking about Indo-American and uh, DBT collaboration, I think uh, we have to know the rules, rules of the game and no point in grumbling. Our team was grumbling, oh, they are asking this, they are asking that, we are not able to get that, uh, I forgot the name of the numbers, where, uh, where to register. So I think we are at least in process. I know Ronnie has gone through it and every time I have troubled Ronnie also, how did you do it and can you teach us? And he's always ready to help. And I think one more second project has already gone with the Sudhayangar, that is uh, Madhavan and uh, Rajiv Raman. So I think uh, earlier I think All Indian Institute had and uh, then uh, when Kal first time I think uh, Shankaranetla had, Arvind had. And I think Arvind had a big project on Eels disease about 15 years back. So I think it's all, in, uh, and we have lots to offer, and for that we have to work hard. And, uh, and I think more than working hard, I want to use the word, we work with passion. And I think we have a lot of people working for passion in their own institute, but I think now we have to have work for passion for Indian research. And we have my, I know Bakalish Kamar from uh, 80s, and he was uh, he was the junior most that time, and I think he used to come and question Dr. Badanath, uh, why are you not doing this, and I'm sure he was there when Carl Kupfer was working with us, and I hope I can ask Bakalish to tell something, because he's now, uh, Dr. John, I don't know whether Bakalish gave any comments, he's working in the, uh, with Absolutely. the... Absolutely, yeah, please. No, he's worked with the, as a research uh, uh, vice president with the Cadilla. And I, I'd like him to tell a few words about research in India. And I think, no, no, you're our, one of our uh, mentors. And uh, before Ronnie George's time, uh, you used to come to Shankaranetra. No, can you uh, give your comments on research in ophthalmic, ophthalmic research in India? And maybe Sandeep also to say something. He still comes to Shankaranetra. Yeah, I know he comes, but he has to stimulate us to work together. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, Bakri. Let me thank you uh, for kind words. I don't deserve them. But uh, my first interaction with MEI was through Carl Cooper. So for the work we did on the cataractogenesis yes. and medical therapy of cataract, it was presented at Asia Pacific Conference. And somehow it got notice of Dr. Carl Cooper. He sends the word through Dr. Badar because by that time uh, he noticed it, the conference was over. I was back home in Ahmedabad. And then he sends a message through Dr. Badarina that he would like to see me. And he gives a specific slot in Chennai. And then he met me. And uh, he, I, I'm sure everybody knows him. He has a nicer way of doing it, things. He will not tell you upfront what he's going to do. He says, whenever you are in US, just give me, send me a mail. And at that point in time, it was a year later, not emails. This was 85. And try to see me in NEI. I said, uh, I mean, I was just assistant professor, and he's a director. I said, how is he going to help me? But anyway, since I said, I sent him a mail. And response I get is, what is the date convenient to you? I said, this is my plan, and I can do this. So he said, OK, on a particular day, you come and give a talk at NEI on what you have done on catechogenesis. So that was my first interaction with NEI. And in the same breath, uh, I visited the various universities and did things. Coming back to Indian part, see the DRCR network. I mean, uh, in India, what we have to learn is to learn to work together. Learn to forget our personal or institutional priorities, hmm, and that's not happening. 
if a DRCR network through DBT, oh. if they can do it, it's a DRCR part of India, if it can be funded by DBT, then you don't have a funding requirement coming from US and you don't have an obligation, you share some of the protocols where the investigators in India are willing to participate. DBT funds Indian part of it, which is their program, because that's, I think, the understanding between the two organizations. And uh, then we can have some program running in India, start it, and then expand it. And I'm sure PGI, All India for Medical Arty Center, LVP, Sankar Nitra, and Arvind, at least they can join if there's a common protocol coming from a DRCR network and there's a common meeting organized. Nutty, this is for you. You can do this. <laughs> you can call a meeting of a vitreoretinal surgeon interested in diabetic retinopathy in PGI, RP Center, LVP, Sankar Nitralian, Arvind, talk to Grover, have some common protocol agreement, apply for a DBT common program grant, where this part is funded by DBT, the other part is funded by NEI. In any case, it is funded. So they might have to share some software or access to the software through the computer network, and then you start going. The other point, I mean, since we are talking about diabetic retinopathy, and I saw one of them is the persistent diabetic macular edema. As a part of faculty, we did some work some time back, small study, those who have persistent diabetic macular edema, in spite of injections and lasers, how do you do that? So there is a product in India which is available, which is a multi-component product, yeah. which includes AC inhibitors, statins, aspirin, beta blocker, and hydrochloric diuretic. With that product, people start responding. It takes a little longer time, but they, they don't have to use that. should start. And they regain the reason, the macular edema decreases. So a project like this, can be taken up for this network because this product may not be available in US, it's available in India. So this can be a starting point. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I think you, uh, your, your feedback is just so good that that's a perfect segue for the next session, which is fortunately I'm uh, co-chairing it and Dr. Natarajan as well. So I could, I would request that everyone stays where they are. Uh, uh, Dr. Paul Baird, I would like to in about a minute or two, he could come up to the stage to uh, co-chair with me. Um, and But my um, um, co-chair and moderator of this session, Dr. Bhavna Chawla, would like to say something and officially close the session. But please stay in your seat and we'll, we'll begin the next session. So thank you everyone for your participation and your active uh, feedback and comments. They're really valuable in helping us you know grow and achieve our objectives so i hope really that you enjoyed this session and you got some uh, good takeaway messages from this and you all will start working on the ro1 grant and the idea of collaborating and working together thank you so can we have one photograph of the panelists and the speakers before we close this session You just want this session?